これ出しますはい。Use your intention to do that. You send your intention down. You let the pressure on the bottom of your foot move you. And then, all the whole time, use your mind, your awareness to scan your body. Make sure your skeleton, your structure is nice and upright and vertical. So, nothing's caving in, nothing's kinking over. So, your skeletal structure. Skeleton is very straight and upright. Use the ground to move that. And then, same thing forward and back. So, I press into the front leg, that sends me back. I press down the back leg, that sends me forward. And my mind keeps my body very straight and upright. Release the abdomen, release the shoulder joints. Just let weight, the weight of the arms, work right through the arms. o t h e r way. And then back this way, but now a little wider. And we can turn on that back foot. So we get more turn. So we turn to face that side wall completely. And then the other way is shift your weight to one leg, turn the hips to the opposite side, turn your hips to the empty side. Okay, so walk your feet in and out. That works the ankles. And close. Roll shoulders, get the spine moving. And the other way. Really feel the spine. Hips. Knees are nicely bent. Knees. Forward and all the way back to the front corners. And rolling apart. Rolling together. Bring the hips forward, stand you up. And just using your legs to swing your arm. Completely relaxed. Let gravity work through that arm completely. And let gravity take it. And then shifting the weight and sending the arm the other way. You can either shift the weight or turn the hips to get that arm moving. In other words, you're using your lower body and not your arm. And let gravity take that, just like a pendulum winding down. Tenkai, use your base, move your base to make the arm move. And let gravity take it completely. Practice relaxation. Use the ground. 
to send you the other way. The gravity take it. Force stance up and down to get the arm swinging laterally. The arms are not doing it, right? Arms are not doing this. Your shoulders not doing it. It's just doing this relaxed bounce and your mind, your intention sets the direction for the arms, but the arms are not doing it. So your elbows are completely released. Your arm muscles are completely soft. And the more you use the ground and you time it, the more you can swing those arms. So eventually you can swing them into a complete circle. And again, you're not using your arms at all. You're just using gravity and the earth. Another way. And let gravity take the arms. Let the hands hang heavy at your center. Roll the neck. Make sure your knees are bent. Breathe into the abdomen. And up and turn. And chin up, chin down. Okay. March. So enter the ground with your feet. Send your hips forward. That sends your hand blades forward, up, and back. Make sure you don't hold your breath. Breathe into that stretch and then forward through the fingertips. Down, stretch back with this front leg. Breathe into that stretch. Back knee, press the hips forward. And a little arch from here. And forward, stretch those toes, and then flat foot, stretch the hip, press the chest to the ground, walk your hands up, push the hips forward, and hand kind up. Sink your feet into the ground, push the hips forward. Nice big arc, nice big wheel here, nice sharp edge. Breathe. Through the fingertips. Stretch the back of that leg. Let the head dangle. The knee, press the hips forward. Arch. Forward. Stretching those toes. And a flat foot, stretch the hip. Arch. If you keep live toes back there, you'll get even a better stretch. The mind leads the stretch. Your mind leads the body. Okay. Stretch. Pulling the toes back, you'll get even more stretch. And sway side to side. If 
equal stretch through both arms. That corner, use this, use this arm for support. Bend this elbow to get more stretch. One side. Make sure you're breathing good. Don't hold your breath. This side. Reach across, opposite. And across. And in front. Bring the feet in. Press the knees down, straight back, and pull your belly button to the ground in front of your toes. Keep your back straight. Keep the knees flat on the floor. And then a little further out, you do the same thing. You try to press your knees to the floor and bring your belly button to the floor in front. So you're rolling your hips forward. Straight, stretch. Bring your elbows to your knees. Okay, center line, hands and feet. Take a quick look behind you, make sure the space is clear so you're not gonna bump into anything or hit your head. And we're gonna go right into switching of the feet. Okay, remember, of course, shape like your chin, round back. We'll switch sides when we're all the way back. Come forward with a strong mental extension, strong mental projection, and that will almost fling you forward. So when you come forward, your hips will rotate and you're reaching way out. Like you're about to touch the wall on the other side of the room. Each, stand forward, knee. Roll forward from the hips. Sant. Send the mind strongly forward. Sheep. Rope. Rope. Seat. Touch. Roll from the hips. Okay. Round shape. chin tucked, just roll from one side to the other, cross your back. Just do a few of those, those out, head on the chest, upper back is rounded, arms are rounded, just roll it across your back to one side, across the back to the other side. Okay, now Continue in a circle. Do a complete circle one way, then complete circle the other way. Head on the chest the whole time. Okay. Roll to one side, like we just did. We just did, except now you're gonna come up on that knee and roll back across the back to the other knee. 
So only difference is instead of staying on the ground, I come up onto the knee. I touch that hand down, roll across the arm, across the back, and then come up on that down knee, knee that's on the ground, come up. If I switch sides, so maybe you can see that arm better. So this is like the ukami senpai that we did in your program when we're standing, we touch down, send that leg out. We touch down and roll in the arm. It's like that. We're rolling along the arm, except this is much easier, it's much lower. So the low side, roll along the arm, cross your back, come up on the other arm to the other side. So here, I roll across my back, come up on the other knee. Touch down with the hand, roll along the outside of that arm as I sit with my hip, cross my back to the other arm, up on the other knee. Try to keep your back round, head on the chest. Try not to have any hard points or any angles that's hitting the ground. And if it was a hard ground, be smashing something. So part of what you're learning is to stay very round like a ball and again, head on the chest to protect it. So if you're landing with your shoulder blade kind of hard or shoulder point kind of hard, you could do damage or injure yourself if it was the actual ground, a hard ground. So we're going to be round and time the motion. So you roll like a smooth ball. Okay, now, Senpai, watch this. I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm also going to be doing this. So I'm combining these two things. I'm going to do two of these. One, two, combined with what we are just doing. Okay? So instead of going back and forth from one side to the other, I'm going to go down the same way and do the stuffed teddy bear roll and then come up with the other knee up. So start exactly the same way. So instead of stopping here and coming up, I roll twice. Now I'm on the other side. So the knee that's down, I go here. Instead of coming right up on the other knee, I put in two teddy bear rolls. So it looks like this. And then I'm ready for the other side. Okay, those out. Try that out. Make sure you've got space. So I go down, teddy bear roll, another teddy bear roll, then I'm ready to come up. And that'll bring me up on the opposite side. So I'm working alternating sides each time. I go down, one teddy bear roll, one more teddy bear roll, and come up on that knee. You go down on that low side, teddy bear roll, one more teddy bear roll, come up on the opposite side. Use your intention to bring you up. Body round, very round. Head is glued on top of the chest. Use your intention and your reach and your stretch to bring you up.
Okay. Now, this next one, another ukami drill, is just like this one that we do a lot, but it's gonna be slightly different. I'm gonna swivel my hips and go more on side of the body, side of the body. I go from one side of the hip to the other side of the hip. So I'll have to demonstrate that for you. So instead of going straight with the body, I switch legs just like I'm doing now. But the one we usually do, we stay straight with our hips in our center line, just going forward and back straight. This one I'm going to swivel on my hips. So I'm going to start on my side. And when I go back and switch my legs, I also switch to the other side, to the other hip. Let me turn a little bit so you can see. And I'm using this arm to come up just like we did in that last drill. So I go from one hip, switch my feet, come up on the other hip. Just come up to sit and use that arm to come up. It's like Minucci. Roll up on that arm. So I go down on one side, switch my feet, swivel to the other hip, come up. I go down on that side, roll across my back, switch my feet to come up. Okay, so do your best to work that drill. So I'll go from one side, yoko, to the other yoko, side to side. Head on the chest, keeping my back round. I roll on my arm, cross my back to the other side, to the other side of the hip. Okay, senpai. One more thing, now we're gonna come up on the knee, just like we did for the other ukami. And we're just gonna do what we did basically last time on the other ukami, we're just rolling on our side, the cross back up on the other side. So here, let's switch my feet onto my other hip. So I'm just emphasizing this hip swivel, from one hip to the other. So I go down, swivel my hip, change my legs. Down, roll the arm, swivel, come up. Down the side, swivel, come up. Okay, dozo. Try really swiveling those hips. Gives you lots of momentum. Swivel the hips, switch the legs. Gives you lots of kinetic energy to come up. Okay. Come on up. Okay, continuing with your program, right near the bottom of your program, the last couple techniques. So we're gonna move on to the next technique from a double shoulder grab or double shoulder push. The one that we just completed last class is where they actually make contact. So the first we did is we could try to catch them early so like, remember the very, very first one is they just come through like this. We get out of the way, Tenkai to send them on their way. We get out of their way and also pin. Then getting out of the way to reach across to grab the back of the other hand and then turn the hips to go into Ikkyo, Omote or Ura. Got out of the way. Protect ourselves with our Minucci, 
reaching across, turning it over for Ikkyo, Omote, Uhura. Then we did where they came in and actually got to us. Same thing, we got all of the way, even if they might get us, exactly the same thing. Turn the hips, Omote, or Ura. So we got out of the way, bang, they get us, keep our posture by moving, turn the hips, omote, ura. Now, they get to us again, and this time, one hand releases to shoot for the hips. So instead of hands are both here, they come in for the same attack, then they change their strategy. They either realize that you're gonna do something or they just try to be tricky and they grab and then one hand goes down behind your legs. So the attacker would be coming in, bang, here. So they come in, they grab or push, one hand stays there, other hand, goes low, they drop down, try to shoot, it's called shooting. You shoot for the hips, other hand's behind the leg, of course, to trip them. So they come in, this time the other hand will hold on, stays here, and they can either let go with both hands and grab, but in this case, we're gonna work with one hand stays there as if they're trying to distract you, so they sneak down here. Okay, so they get to us, but then only one hand is going to stay there. Now, what we're going to say, Senpai, is that back side, that's the hand that's going to stay. It stays on you. The other side, the other arm, is the one that drops down to grab behind your hips or behind your leg. Just so that we're all doing the same thing. Keep it a little bit more basic. And also the idea behind it is they'll probably go for the forward side, the forward hip. So they'll probably try to grab the forward hip or the forward leg, especially because that leg is way further ahead than the back one. So chances are they're going to let go with this side to reach down to grab that side. Make sense? So we're gonna say that whenever we do this, we're gonna to reach to the back side to grab the hand, because that's the one that's still gonna be there. And the front side, front hip, is the one where they're reaching down to shoot. So that's, so we do ikkyo to that side. So that's our response to this, is that they come in, let's say they release with this hand, to shoot underneath. This hand we're gonna grab for the ikkyo. So everything else from here then is the same as what we did last time. It's just like the grab and you reach across, grab the far hand and do your ikkyo, omote ura. It's gonna be exactly the same. You reach for the hand that's there because the other hand is not gonna be there, it's down here somewhere. And you approach it just like we did, ikkyo. Okay, let me know if you have any questions. So let's start with Hidari and Irami Sugiyashi. Irami Sugiyashi. So again, we'll be reaching for the back arm or the back side here because they're going to be shooting for the front side. So what that means is your partner will be coming in here. They push or they grab. This one releases. Hopefully it's showing the correct side. It's not, hopefully it's not reversing it over Zoom. And they're coming down here. This one stays here. So your right side is the hand that stays, so you're reaching with your left. If we do this together, it'll make sense. Okay. Hidari. Sugiyashi. They're grabbing. This side stays on. Reach across, hold that hand, we turn the hips. So right hand is on their elbow. And now they're going for a shoot. They're dropping down towards your left leg or front leg or front hip. 
And so we're going to do downward Bonucci really fast. Right down because they're right, getting right on us. So right down. And again, it's always good to turn your hips. In a real situation, you might move that leg back right away. So they can't get that hip or leg. So in a real situation to adapt, you might move that leg right back. Make sense? But for basic, we're gonna stay with basic shape and basic footwork to start with. Okay, so starting again. Sugiyashi, reaching across, turn the hips for downward Manucci. Now this is Omote, we're starting with Omote. Now it might be hard to, a little bit squished because they're going for this leg and hip. So our omote may not be over here like it was before. It's probably gonna be right here in front or right even over here. So try to imagine that. You probably can't step over here, especially if they're pretty big. So you got their arm down, but we still wanna work omote, practice omote. So you step and then step with the left foot off. And down on your right knee, pin. It's been a little while since we've done this. And so I'm giving you maybe more detail than before. So try to work that out in your mind and your imagination. And let me know if you have a question. So again, the partner or attacker is coming in here, dropping down here. So then you're gonna do Ikkyo here. Taking them off. Left side forward. Sugiyashi, remember to use Manucci, hand blade, potentially going to their face. Grabbing the hand. They got you already, so you gotta go to their hand on your shoulder. You gotta turn your hips and get downward Manucci. You probably have to do downward Manucci like right on top of your knee. As I mentioned, you might even have to move your leg back. But right now we're gonna stay basic so we can do omote. So then step forward before we stepped over here, right? But they're probably right down in front of you. So we step forward and then left foot. Again, we wanted to get away from their center, take them off their balance and get away from their center, get away from their power. Down on your right knee. Okay, so that's kind of a lot of detail, maybe a lot to think about. So let's do a few more on that side. Kidari. Sugiyashi, reach across, they're already on us. Use the power of your hips to turn because you won't be able to take them off if they're strong. And maybe they got your balance. So you can't use your upper body, probably. You gotta use your hips and your legs to turn. It's like a really tight tenkai. Turn. Your right hand on their elbow, press down for downward Manucci. And for Omote, you might move, have to move over here in a real situation because of where their body is. Left foot steps away from them, down on the inside side, right? Right knee, because you're going down the side closest to them. So your weight goes right down through them, right? A couple more times. Okay, so. Sugiyashi, reach across, turn the hips, downward Manucci, step forward, right foot, left foot, step away, down on the right knee. Then, let's do one more. Sugiyashi, reach across, turn the hips, downward Manucci, step forward for Omote, step off at the left leg for you take them off balance, down on the right knee. Okay. Let's work the other side. Nigi Hanmi. So, it's going to be this side that we grab. Because if they let go with one hand, it's probably going to be this side that they let go of because this leg is closer to them, so they'll probably reach down to try to grab that leg. So we're gonna grab this side because that hand's probably gonna be the one that's still there. Okay, so they come in, oh, bang. And we come offline. So Yashi, grab that hand. 
Then they release the hand on the right shoulder to grab that right leg. So we've got to do a strong and quick hip turn and strong and quick downward Manucci. Step forward for Omote. Right foot steps away, take them off their balance and then down on the left knee. Use your body and your hips, your legs to pin. Okay, let's come back. Nigi Hanmi. Sugiyashi, use your hand blade, Manucci, to protect yourself. Oh, they're on us already. Grab that hand, turn your hips, and then they release with the other hand to go for your front leg. So turn and drop into downward Manucci. Step forward for Omote. Right foot steps off. Take them off their center. Down on the left knee. Pin. Okay, a couple more times. So Sugiyashi, reach across, downward Manucci. Left foot in front, right foot away. Migi Hanmi. Sugiyashi, make sure you're protecting yourself with your hand blade. Reach across, turn the hips, drop straight down with your Manucci. Step forward, left foot away with your right foot. Pin. Okay, one more. Sugiyashi. Quick turn and drop down, downward Manucci. Omote, offline. Okay. Let's do Hidari, sorry, uh, Ayumiyashi. So, Migi Hanmi. Migi Hanmi. Ayumiyashi. So, the right side starts as the front side, but ends up being the rear side. So now this side is the one that's closest to them. So they'll probably go for that. So right now this side is closest to them. But when we do our footwork, this side's closest to them. So they're still, it's gonna work out to be the same thing that we just did. Because this side, left side is now closest to them. So now they're probably gonna to try to go for that left leg or that left hip. So it'll be exactly the same thing as what we just did after we do our Ayumiyashi. Okay, so Migi Hanmi, Ayumiyashi, grab back their hand, turn the hips. We're still doing Omote. Omote, Ura. Hit. Okay, Migi Hanmi. Ayumiyashi, grab. Here, you're shooting to the left leg, forward side. So we've got to drop that Manucci right down before they can get that leg or hip. And then you might have to step over a bit for your omote if their body's in the way, and left foot steps over. And pin. Okay, a couple more like that. Right side forward. Ayumiyashi. Left hand grabs over to the right shoulder. Quick turn and drop into low down Manucci. Step Omote with the right foot. Step away with your left foot. Down on your left knee. Ayumiyashi, reach across. You're coming into your left leg or hip. Drop down into Manucci. Step Omote. Step off for Ura. Okay, let's do the other side. So, Hidari, Ayumiyashi. So, right now, the left side is forward, left side is closer to them. But once we do our evasion, our footwork, now the right side is closer to them. So, probably going to be grabbing, holding on here on the left side as they reach down to grab. The right leg because that's more close, it's further ahead. So that's left leg forward to start with. Hidari. Ayumiyashi, right hand reaches across to grab. Now think that they're bending down to grab your right leg or hip. 
So you got to do a real tight downward spiral into downward Manucci. Now you might not be able to step like that into Omonte because your body is right there. I might have to step more over here so that I'm not crashing through my partner. I come over here with the left foot, step away with the right foot, down on the left knee. Okay, so that's left side forward. Ayumiyashi, reach across with the right hand, turn the hips, drop right down into Manucci. Step forward with your left foot. Remember where the body is right in front of you. So you might have to step over here. Right foot steps away from them. Down on the left knee. A couple more times, Senpai. Hidari. Ayumiyashi, reach across. Downward Manucci. Left foot steps on Molte. Right foot steps off. Down on the left knee. Hidari. Ayumiyashi. Right hand reaches to the face and across to your shoulder. Hip turn for downward Manucci. Left foot steps forward, right foot away, down on the left knee. Okay, a couple more times. Ayumiyashi. Grab the hand, turn the hips, drop down into downward Manucci. Almost hands the left foot, step off to the right. Okay, once more. Hear me, Ayumiyashi. Reach across, turn the hips and down. Stepping omote, stepping off, take them off their balance. Sinking down. Okay, so that's a good review of that. Of course, we have to do Ura footwork for both Sugiyashi and Amiyashi. So we'll do that next class. Okay, nice good alignment. Weight is in the legs and feet, upper body is relaxed and open, arms just hanging with gravity. Now the arms are resting on the center. Breathe into the center, feel your abdomen expand as you breathe in, feel it sink back in towards the body, feel it empty as you breathe out. Then have that translate to your arms. Just as the belly expands, torso expands, it sends the arms out. You breathe in the belly, chest, and torso expand like a filling balloon. That sends everything out. Breathe out, just like the lungs empty, the whole torso and abdomen empties, and that draws the arms back. And your mind is leading the way the whole time. So mind goes out, and then you breathe in, energy expands out. Mind comes back to home base, comes back to your center, you breathe out and the body follows. So the mind leads the body. It's a major principle. The mind leads the body. The mind is first. The body is second. So the, bo the body is not first. The mind is first and the body follows. Okay, breathing in without tightening up. Come up on the toes, breathe out, sink. Make sure your knees are bent so there's a nice little bounce there. Breathe in, it's like you're drawing the energy up from the earth and then you send it back into the earth. Again, breathe in, open the chest. So this time I'm going a little bit more back. Breathe out. Open the back so the shoulder blades go apart from each other. Breathing in, opening the chest, breathing out, opening the back. That's coming from your breath. The movement of your breath is causing that body motion. Of course, all that really is coming from the mind, using your intention. Good, now breathing in, roll your fingers together, little finger first into fists, and then breathe out into the ground. Roll little finger, the next finger, next finger, breathe out, open sharply. Breathe in, breathe out. 
Okay, now just resting at your center. Breathe in, feel the lungs, fill the belly. And every time you breathe out, just send your mind and breath down through your legs, through your feet into the ground. Fill and then send your mind and breath into the ground as you breathe out. Fill this, breathe out. Breathe in, fill this, breathe out. Send it down, extend it down. Good, let's bow. Okay, let's bow out. Momo arigato gozaimasu. Thank you very much. Okay, senpai. Keep practicing. Please do your homework. And we'll see you next class.